Anyway, I have for you one of the dummiest dum dums that has ever dum dumbed, and that is, of course, uh, Lauren Chen, who is um, just a fucking awful person. She's just not a good person. I don't know if she thinks she's a good person or she knows she's grifting. I actually can't tell. But um, her and her husband, I, I don't know if her husband's on this one or not. I don't know. She might just be alone here. Yeah, this looks like she's alone. Um, <laughs> she just is such a fucking dick to everybody. And uh, this is her thing uh, about chest feeding. And she's mad that uh, doctors urge gender neutral language breastfeeding um I, I, <laughs> but while doing it look your best in 2021 with ageless glow young with lauren.com wow wow we can go here the website works really well ah interesting just a bad gateway wow okay all right i guess i'm not gonna get to look young with lauren that's, I didn't know that was gonna happen when I clicked on it, but I guess that's I guess that's what it is. Okay, so let's see what Jor Joran I was gonna say Ch Chorin Len, which is weird. That's a weird thing to say. Chorin Len, what a Kirk W that was. Talk about gender non-specified human chest feeding. Yeah, stuff like. Wow, that was that was a uh, that was an old Family Guy clip. All right, Lauren, cool. Cool, 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 cool. We like references. You guys like references, chat? Me too. That used to be considered a joke, but no one's laughing now because recently... Well, that's not that funny of a joke. <laughs> uh, Darwin agrees. That is not a very funny joke. Um, I don't know why he's so barky today. Uh, but uh, did that feel transphobic in the modern context? No, because it's... No. Because it was a big hairy man nipple. That's okay. I mean, I don't know the context of that, but I mean, just that scene? I mean, it's, it's transphobic because she's doing it. Like, Family Guy in a Vacuum, no. But yes, when Lauren's doing it, she's doing it specifically because she's saying that, like... Yeah, it's, it's Lauren Chen using that in this context about breastfeeding or chest feeding. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's whatever. We all have breasts. I don't know. If you want to be called chest and not a breast, that's fine with me. I don't care. But, <laughs> like... <laughs> Just, just fucking, she's mad. A group of physicians Darwin's came had out enough. saying that we shouldn't use the term breastfeeding anymore because it's not gender inclusive. Okay. Instead, we should be saying things like chest feeding and chest milk. Some of the grossest terms I have ever heard. So Wait, why is chest milk grosser than breast milk? Wait, why is that gross? I mean, if someone wants to be called not... If, if there is someone who, who is going through the act of feeding their child... Uh, uh, with their own milks. Why, why, uh, why does it matter? If they want, to, want it to be called chest feeding, then just do that. Who gives a shit? I don't, I don't, I don't fucking understand, dude. Is, like, if you say breastfeeding, I don't think anybody out there is gonna be like, it's chest feeding! I don't think people are doing that. But if someone is like, like... <laughs> I don't know. It would be contextual to the person. And and all the doctors are doing is just trying to make sure that the language is inclusive. Now, I mean, we do contextualize socially differences between breasts and chest. That's why it's funny if I call my 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 uh uh if, like if I if I if I if I grab my titties and go, this is this is a my these are my breasts, right? That's a little funny. But that's only because of the way that we con like connote it within language. Not that big a deal. No one gives a shit. So like, if someone is slightly offended that you said that, then and they go like, "Hey, can you call it chest feeding instead?" Just say, "Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Who cares?" I <laughs> so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. But first, I <laughs> want to say a huge thank you to today. No. No. Same time again. That is youngwithlauren.com. Oh, and by Young the way, guys, if the work. lighting the looks strange in this video, I apologize. I usually film during the day, but uh, it's nighttime right now. I'm doing a bunch of recording because I'm going to be traveling a little bit next week, and uh, I don't know. I feel like I look like in some kind of ghoulish den, but 
hopefully doesn't look too scary or shadowy. So let's just jump right into it. This is from the Washington Times. They report that the Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine has issued guidelines that suggest employing terms such as chest feeding, human milk feeding, and parent's milk to promote what it calls gender inclusive language. Those would be gender inclusive things, specifically parent's milk rather than mother's milk. Yeah. I don't really think most people... Uh, let me know if that actually bothers any of you. Um, if you were if you were feeding your child through the natural glands within you, um, are you bothered that someone would call it breastfeeding? If you... I assume if you identified as a male. Like, if you're like, I'm a, I'm a fella. Yeah, dudes have breasts too. But, I mean, like, I think it's contextual to one person, right? Like I don't think I don't think people really talk about this. Like this seems like this seems like the libs even got into this. Like I don't think leftists or or actual trans people were part of this, but maybe I don't know. Like is this going to be a thing? Which is fine, I don't care. Right? Cis men have breasts too. Yeah, I don't know. So she's mad that the Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine which I didn't know was a an academy, is saying this? Not, I don't... <laughs> Human milk feeding is one of the most disturbing terms I have ever heard. And what's really... But it's literally what happens. What? We make milk. Wait, why are you not disturbed about drinking cow milk, but you are about drinking human milk? I don't understand. It's milk. It's milk interesting is that i kind of previously assumed that breast was i looked it up to see when it was used and i'm seeing things from back in 2018 talking about chest feeding as well wow just like a general term for like you know your it's actually milk or chest True. area like you read in books like he held him to his breast and like that doesn't mean you actually have boobs it's just like kind of like general pectoral region apparently i'm learning that this is a very gendered term now who knew it continues but it doesn't seem so. <laughs> Actually, it's cow's breast milk. True. Use the ABM position statement on infant feeding and lactation related language and gender, co authored by eight doctors and the academy, said that the use of de sexed or gender inclusive language is appropriate in many settings. Look, I understand that if you're writing for Teen Vogue, you're going to want to use gender neutral language. What? You're writing for Teen Vogue? Why, why can't. Okay, okay. Why can't we just have this reasonable conclusion, Lauren? Why can't we just do this? And it's so easy, Lauren, to do these things. Ready? Call it whatever you want, and then if somebody else says, hey, can you call it something else? You can just do that. There you go. I don't think we have to draw hard lines where where we talk about breast or chest feeding. I think I think maybe... Maybe we can have some context clues, huh? Right? Like if, if the person is cis, for example. Odds are they've never thought of it. You can just call it whatever you want. If you call it chest feeding, they'll be like, oh, that's an interesting term. What is that for? And then you can be like, oh, it's just gender inclusive language. Just so, you know, it's whatever. That's fine, too. What's wrong with gender inclusivity? No one's saying you gotta do it. I didn't know the the Academy of Breastfeeding was like like the Gestapo. They're gonna come out here and start fucking locking people in train cars because you said breastfeeding somewhere, Lauren. You are pretending that this is a thing and it's not a big deal. Just fucking go with whatever you think, and if somebody else says do a different thing, try to accommodate them if they're being reasonable, and if you think that it's in good faith, that's fine. Like, most people, especially trans people, if you go like, oh, hello, sir, and they go like, oh, it's actually, uh, my pronouns are she, her. Um, that person probably gets it a lot, so they're not going to be, like, that fucked up about it. They could be a little annoyed, but they're, you know, not going to be that fucked up about it. And then that person will definitely very much benefit, both socially and psychologically, from you going like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry, man, that's fine. Um, absolutely. And just try to keep that in mind. And just be like, yeah, that's that's my bad. You know, I shouldn't have made the assumption. 
And that's okay. And I don't think anyone's going to, like, a trans person is not going to bite your fucking head off for that. Most trans people are, are delighted when they are affirmed, in fact. Um, because, you know, it's, it's confirmation of their genuine identity. And that's just another, everybody loves to be validated in whatever way that, that manifests. Every person likes validation. So, like, just try to validate people when you can, assuming it's not harmful. And obviously there's nothing harmful about it. I, I don't know why this has to be a topic, Lauren. Because you're talking to other crazy people, and that's what's kind of the norm crazy in people. those spheres. See. But keep in mind here, these are doctors telling us that when we are... Yeah, you know, doctors, crazy people, wow. Referring to medical terms, we cannot use gendered language. And it's like... They're not saying you cannot. It said it was appropriate. And, I mean, literally just read it. Where... Like, what were we at, 332? Okay, at 309 it says, the ABM position statement on this and this and that and that said that it may be appropriate in many settings. It didn't say you had to do it at all times. It didn't say, it didn't even prescribe specific situations. It said it's appropriate in certain situations. That's it, brah. Calm down. Zero V uh, streaming. Thanks for the tier two for 11 months, dude. Thank you. So much of what happens in medicine is mm -hmm. gendered because humans are sexually dimorphic. Men and women have different biology. I can't imagine trying to guide someone through a pregnancy not using any gendered language like mother, father, apparently breastfeeding. Parent, chest. At all, I mean, that's, that's gotta be a challenge. Oh fuck, it's a challenge. Ah. Uh. Look at three messages down of mine. I just explained this in one sentence to my 10-year-old son. His response was, that's the whole point. I mean, I guess if I have to go back into your chat history to read stuff, I suppose I will. You said three. The third message back is, it's too base to pass up. The one before that is, look at my last message. The one before that is so based. See, it's actually six messages back. So, I mean, like, come correct next time. Men can have boobs. I guess they can. That's true. Just totally ruined it. Totally ruined it. Seven, eight messages back. Thirteen messages back from now. The article continues that the ABM recognizes that not all people who give birth and lactate identify as female. That's true. And that some of these individuals identify as neither female nor male, That's said true. the four-page yeah. document posted July 29th. Yeah. No, not every person who gives birth is going to... 47 messages back on my other account. <laughs> Fun fact, the majority of medical anatomy knowledge is based off of male cadavers. They often didn't study female cadavers, just assumed they would be close enough. Yikes identify as female but the thing is that doesn't make them any less female like in the abstract we That's can say Kurt that w yeah some people True. have gender dysphoria so you know referring to them as their natal sex might make them feel uncomfortable so if you're talking to a bitterest buggy thanks for giving one to the garbage loomy that last year's message i refuse correct person try not to bring that up i understand that i'm not trying to come across as cruel or callous here but it is okay. a biological fact that if you're lactating, yeah. if a baby pops out of your vagina, you are a woman. No. No. But that's, it's not, it's not, it's not how it works. <laughs> also, also, cis men can lactate. It's a thing. It's not a big deal. You know, some of us milk our own milkies. I don't, but some of us do. And and I'm sure man milk is delicious. And it's fine. And then there are there are trans people that have their milks. We all have our different milks, guys. What flavor are your milks, chat? Chat, if you could have would you would you drink strawberry Jake milk or chocolate Jake milk? Assuming we get these puppies milking. Let's be honest. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Looking like a lot of strawberry milks up in here. Banana milk? No, 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 no. A lot of people want want Jake's strawberry uh, teddy milk. Okay. I'm seeing a little coffee. Okay. 
Every other day, I'll offer one titty worth of chocolate, but the other titty is always straub. Okay. All right. See, I'm just saying it's not that weird, Lauren. Maybe if you just maybe if you just got over yourself a little bit, you could have you could have people wanting your chalky milks too. You are female, and maybe there's like a few trans men, you know, ma- uh, female to male people who identify as that's tr- the trans man. male, even though they've had a baby, and it's like we, all we milk cannot them. That's my change point. That's true. our entire language and all medical diction. Just we we actually can change our language. We actually can't. You know how I know that? Because we do every day. We literally do all the time. Just just always. Like every day every day it changes. Chalky milk, for instance, is a great example of of that being changed. Hey, bud. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. To try to placate like point five percent of the population if that and i mean a lot of trans people at least the ones that i know they're not even offended by language like this it's only of course not but no one's talking about the language what we don't no one really cares about the language no one really cares about specifically the titty language the breast milk chest milk thing that's not really a thing that's ever come up if someone corrects you and says like oh i prefer chest to breast just do that. That's okay. It's fine. Stop freaking out. The activists who are trying to implement this on to other people. It's no not a lot of trans anything people on themselves. Anybody. What? But wait, we're not done with this headache. The article also mentions that <sighs> suggested gender inclusive terms for breastfeeding are things like chest feeding, lactating, expressing, pumping, human milk feeding, and alternatives for breast milk include milk, Human milk, mother's own milk, parents' milk, and father's milk. Oh, is she going to make a cum joke here? If she doesn't make a cummies joke here, what's the point of having a YouTube channel? Human milk. Like, what a what a disgusting phrase. Why are you trying to promote more people saying this, this terrible thing? Do you guys want to know a funny story about, about human milk? I came up with an idea foolproof, okay? I'm going to make a billion dollars on this idea. Are you ready for this, okay? Are you ready for this? It's called Tizza. Tizza, okay? Anybody who has milk, okay? You, you, you can't, so the, the Tizza company, on the surface, is a human milk company. Similar to, like, you know, any other dairy company you can think of, but without the factory farming. We only take consensual teat milk from people. And how do we do it, you might ask? Well, of course, no, not Tizza with a peat spelled like pizza. Tizza spelled like teat with a Z and an A at the end. Tizza. Okay? T-E-E-T-Z-A. Tizza. Okay? <laughs> or an S. I don't know. Fuck, it's been a while. So, Tizza. All right? And we don't just take people's milks like the terrible dairy farm uh, 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 the just abusers of, of cows and stealing their milks and stuff like that. No, 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 Okay? And it's not going to be as painstaking or as environmentally impactful, negatively, as making almond or soy milk, okay? Anderson milk, yeah, true. Got, got, got milk? Kirk W. True. Um... Instead, we have milking stations, just dispersed around, sort of like um, think of them like vending machines, but they're 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 teats of milk stations. And if you want to make a quick buck, just just lock your teats right up into the machine, okay? And it will give you an expressing squeeze to gently, but ferociously and quickly and efficiently extract your teat juice into the receptacles the receptacles will then be kept in a chilled container in the back of the unit that will be picked up daily for processing also in a chilled truck that way we can take freshly squeezed teat juice from you and you get paid by the way it gives out a little slip maybe you do it at your walmart next to the key machine you know or you go into like uh, you're waiting on your on your on your on your pizza to be made okay and somewhere so in the in the teats of pizza uh, uh, shop. Anyway, you, you take your time. Anytime there's a wait, 
like a wait in line at the doctor's office instead of reading one of those 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 the like family life magazines you just lock yourself up to a tiza machine juiced okay and then it comes on out and of course are we gender locking this no of course not why would we be gender locking this because anybody can have teat milk all you gotta do is suck hard enough okay and that's a fact so anyway then we can sell just cold bottles of plain old tiza milk and it will have your name on it so if it's your teat milk it'll be like it'll be like 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 jerry's teat milk um um oh ooh, and then you can find your favorites like maybe jerry you know has delicious teat milk that's pretty good maybe tina has better teat milk and so you can look out for tina's teat milk you know what i'm saying anyway so once you find your favorites or whatever you can also use this teat milk in other applications we may have a situation where we have blends right and when you have a blend you can't really get the initial flavors of everybody's specific teat milk but that's okay because that's what we use in the cheeses that's right teat milk cheeses so we will be of course blending all the milks together at some point and making like i don't know like a like a like a like a like a maybe like a cottage cheese like a country cheese with everybody like a farm cheese we could also do like pizza cheese we could make homemade uh human tea milk mozzarella and then you could have a tizza pizza which would be delicious um and maybe we could open up pizza shops i don't know i'm gonna make a billion dollars off of this Fully automated luxury, uh, not just trans milky socialism. It's just everybody's milky socialism. Everybody gets gets the teats. Uh, it doesn't matter your race, your creed, your gender, your sexuality, nothing. Uh, you just take the teats, and and we get delicious cheat teat curd and teat whey. Yeah, yep, yeah. So anyway, uh. Where do we invest in this? Well, of course, by uh, going to your nearest Tiza extraction unit. Yeah, that's how it works. Does it hurt? No, of course not. It feels great, actually. Yeah, it feels good. And they also say things like father's milk. Look, father's milk, that's not breast milk. <laughs> I don't care how progressive and tall we're trying to be. That's, not that's something else. Milk. You don't You don't want that around your kids. You don't want what around? Is, is, she, is that the cum joke? Is she now talking about cummies? Lauren, are you talking about cum? Lauren. Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. You don't want cum anywhere near your kids? Well, then you're never going to have any because that's how they're made. Daddy takes his cummies. Okay. And he mixes them with eggs, just like making a cake. All right? It's just milk and eggs. I don't know what the flour or the other stuff is or the sugar. I don't know what that stuff is. Makes it by itself. But you need it, You need them both, okay? Can't have one without the other, okay? A coomlet, if you will. Yeah, there you go. And what's really interesting and kind of ironic, because these people completely lack any self-awareness, like an is that omelet. one person says a Dr. Laura Care. That language has power. She's one of the authors and medical director of Well Newborn Care at UC Davis Children's Hospital. The language that we use should be as inclusive as possible when discussing infant feeding, she said. When working with patients, it is best to ask them their affirmed terminology. When go. communicating medical research, language should accurately reflect the population studied so as not to mask research needs. Boom. Here's the thing. When I hear things like chest feeding, I don't feel very included because I know that whoever is using that term is doing so because they they are motivated by a far left ideology this wait what do you have a chest like what do you mean you don't feel included like then 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 simply then simply here's the here's here's the prescription there um if a doctor says chest feeding to you and and you go why did you say chest feeding and they go well i want it to feel more inclusive for people just go well it makes me more, more comfortable if you say breastfeeding to me when you deal with me and then guess what probably will do so holy shit dude all you'd have to do is interact with another person and tell them what you prefer it's interesting that you prefer breastfeeding to chest feeding it's almost as if it's your preference and we ought to validate that preference whenever we can huh strange that you asked for this treatment, Lauren. 
It's strange. This is not about trying to be more inclusive. In fact, it's the opposite. It's about trying to virtue signal to other progressives that you are part of the far left clan. Progressives like to talk about dog whistling a lot. Well, this is simply progressive dog whistling. That's not what dog whistling means. Dog whistling means that this would be shrouded in some sort of like, like, like <laughs> nefarious and unspoken truth about what's actually happening. They're literally telling you out loud what this is. That's just open communication. Dog whistling. You, <laughs> dog whistling specifically is is to mimic a dog whistle. You know, a dog whistle, a thing only dogs can hear. You know, because you got to be a dog to understand. Do you understand what social dog whistling is now? You kind of got to be on the in group to understand what the real message is while sounding like something totally out. Let's toss that out there. If you say something like chess feeding or chess milk, you are trying to mm -hmm. dog whistle to other lefties out there like, yeah, guys, That's don't not... worry. Hashtag BLM. Uh, Trump. Hashtag BLM? Trump derangement. I'm on board with all that stuff. And while this isn't... What? <laughs> The first instance of trying to remove gender from language that we have seen was <laughs> Zazzle, Zazzle. Thanks for the uh, give, uh, five gifted subbies. Give one to Sean Ann, Coffee and Corn Dogs, The Purple Menace, Squirrel Boykins, and uh, Raziel Hex. Thank you Good so much. Call, baby bird. Good call. Especially scary and concerning about this is that this is coming from actual doctors. These people aren't just full-time activists like so many of the Twitter accounts. Yeah, I wouldn't want a doctor to say Good Black call, Lives baby. Matter. Good call. I wouldn't want a doctor to say that. Wow. So we see online, these are doctors. I mean, they are still clearly activists, but these are people who you would think would be most mostly concerned first and foremost with science, biology, yeah. you know, medical fact rather yes. than trying to use inclusive LGBT plus language. But that's, but that's what they're doing. You just don't understand it because you're dumb. They're literally doing the thing. What? And I mean, controlling language is something that the left does so well, and they are always out there to police <laughs> your own words. And it's just kind of scary how this has infiltrated the scientific community because these breastfeeding <laughs> people aren't the only doctors these who are trying to get rid people. of non-inclusive gender terms. Recently, the CDC also put out a statement saying that, quote, the CDC encourages all pregnant people or people who are thinking about becoming pregnant and those breastfeeding, uh-oh, <laughs> breastfeeding, not very woke, to- Wait. Again, she's making up a straw man. Nobody actually cares if you call it breastfeeding or chest feeding, except for individuals. If an individual gives a shit, then just call it whatever they care about. That's fine. Like, like, <laughs> what? Also, all people or people who are thinking about becoming pregnant. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Is because it doesn't say women? It took me a while. It has to say pregnant women? Or women who are thinking about becoming pregnant? But they're also people. That's fine. You can read this transphobic or otherwise. You could be an ally or a transphobe in this, in this sentence is totally fine. <laughs> like what? Who get the jab to protect themselves. Pregnant people. Did you catch that? Because there's a point that by now you, you might not hoe, have huh? even caught it, but... People I bet you do. in general do not get pregnant. Women get pregnant. Yeah. These people have infested medicine, a uh, governing body. Women get pregnant until men do, and then men men get pregnant as well. Did you know you could type in pregnant man? Pregnant man. Wow. Look at this. Look at that. Pregnant men. Wow. Men that are pregnant. Would you say that this is a woman? Would you say that this person is a woman? Like, what? Just pregnant. Sometimes you get pregnant, and that's okay. And it's okay to get pregnant. It's totally fine, dude. Wow. Wow. 
Sure would hate someone to be happy and have a family. Oh, no. Not a happy father. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, don't you just hate... You hate to see it. I think this is a joke. Uh, I mean... If, what? These are just people being fucking happy, dude. I don't... Look at that pup. That's cute. I don't... <laughs> I don't understand the problem at all. This is cute. This is kind of fun. I like this. I like. Why would you look at this and be like, "This is fucking this is, ah, bleh, grody"? Like what? I can understand if you're like, "I'm not sexually attracted to." I don't know. I'm gonna pick on somebody. This person. I'm not sexually attracted to either of these people. It pisses me off. And, and I don't think that you should get your get your pregnant. Like fucking why? Who gives a shit? I don't understand. Oh, and they had the little babies. Uh, look at it. I fucking hate babies, dude. Babies suck. But people that are happy that they have they, their babies are not. They don't suck at all. That's cute. That's fine. Now I'm just sticking in the wholesome train here. This just keeps happening. Wow. Okay. Ah, uh, shit. More people happy with their lives. Fuck. Fuck. We can't have that. Happy people? Fucking hate it. Get them out of here. He's like the CDC. And here's the thing. The past, like, two years going through the whole pandemic, it's really, to me, proved that scientists and science are not the same thing. Science is something that is objective and measurable and is something that we should trust. Scientists. You are a fucking Christian. You don't get to talk about fucking science and how much you respect it while still saying that, like, by the way, all the science I politically disagree with isn't real. Like, fuck you. This, however, <laughs> are people. People with their own biases and political motivations. And just seeing how quickly the science has changed around things like, you know, the woo flu. It just, it makes me skeptical about flu? what else scientists may also be letting their political... There, so, so that was an actual dog whistle. <laughs> ...opinions or beliefs Jesus take Christ. precedent. I believe in science, and I also call it the woo-hoo flu, dude. ...over the actual facts and data, right? Because if we have... Nah, she said woo-hoo flu because she's trying not to get caught up. So, so if you say specific words on YouTube, it does demonetize you. So she's trying not to say the specific words. Doctor saying things like not everyone who breastfeeds or chest feeds is a woman and people in general can get pregnant. What other truths in might general, they be obfuscating in the name of being PC? People in general can get pregnant. Specific issues that come to mind include things like diet. We've seen the Green Lobby attack eating meat, and now the nutritionists out there are coming out very hard against red meat. Are those things related? I don't know. And again, I'm not trying to question science itself or dismiss scientific truth in general. I'm just saying I don't trust scientists anymore, and I feel like now more than ever, People really need to do their own research. It's not enough to say, oh, just trust the professionals. Like, uh, what's it called? Ethan Klein. CDC already tells you what to do. You don't even need to think, bro. Just listen to them. It's like, no. We are so past that point in society because we know that these people what? will essentially lie in order what? to get their way. Which what's their way? Which is a terrifying place to be. But Wait, what? Oh. Wow. Okay. Surprise. Well, I was I was given marijuana. All right, let's do that while we finish this video. We're almost done. Are y'all done in there? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Very cool. But going back to the Washington Times, the ABM statement it says also included a cautionary note about the use of birthing people, warning that it could be misconstrued. Are they targeting the CDC directly here? Who knows? Birthing people may be substituted for mothers so that non-female people, mm. also known as males, because there are two genders, and so if you're not female, 
your male. They say, but this term would also <coughs> include gestational carriers, gestational surrogates, and women sure. whose infants are adopted by others, and such people may not fall within an author's intended meaning, said the organization. <sighs> wow, so it's almost like the words we use actually do have specific meanings and you can't just cancel entire terms <coughs> because me. they aren't gender inclusive without It's run not canceling any terms, they're just using different terms. It's what? <laughs> She's so upset about breasts. She's like, ah, but they're breasts, not chest. It's like it's part of your chest. It's fine. It's okay. Oh, you have an, a big ample chest, someone has said. Do they mean your boobies or do they mean your pecs? Doesn't matter, dude part of it you can be ample in many different ways it's fine we've canceled terms before yeah I, I have no idea why do these people get so fucking hung up on stuff on stuff like this like just fucking adapt or don't adapt it's fine we will figure out a way to communicate with one another there is no reason to be mad that we include more people in the conversation about a thing it isn't bad to make it easier to talk about stuff. If you want to... Again, this is a huge trans community here at the old corn farm. I don't think there's one of you that has a really hard like stance on the breast milk versus chest milk debate that Lauren Chen pretends is existing. No one really gives a shit. Like, if someone has a preference, they'll let you know. That's it, dude. Running into your freedoms. Well, the freedom to choose it, whatever. Who'd have thunk? And this is really rich. The article thunk. concludes by saying that the Academy also said that its ability to use, quote, gender inclusive. I have a hard stance. I hard don't care. Inclusive language <laughs> may be limited in other countries, but that does not negate our recognition of and support for the diversity and complexities in the human experience <laughs> of infant feeding and bonding. Sure. So much of what was in this statement mm -hmm. is not medicine, it's not biology, it's not fact. It really is just regurgitated woke talking points. It's not woke. And what? you know what? It's not even woke. It's literally it's literally just like, "Hey, as the medical community, we have to deal with a variety of different people from all walks of life. So, in the case of working with someone like that, it might be good to choose to choose different words instead of the ones that you normally use." Because they are cis normative, and not everybody is in fact cis, cis, and that's okay. It literally said, "Here are some things you can do in the cases that you want to change your language." That was the fucking like article that they were like, "What?" Lauren is so dumb, dude. But yeah, you're not going to be able to go to oh. anywhere in the Middle East or really Asia, anywhere outside of the Western world, and say like, "Hang on, guys." Men can get pregnant too because the people aren't, they're not gonna believe it there. Their languages are even more gender than English some of the time. And it's just like, so much of this so? is ironically Eurocentric, but these people don't even realize that. But, but th this isn't a prescription for the whole world, Lauren. It's not Eurocentric or West, this is America. It's not America centric to say, the people that live here talk away. Here's some language the people that live here could use. What? <laughs> this is this is the American breastfeeding society of a, a, a highly reputable place that demands our our concern at all points. Like what? Who cares? This is such fucking I I. I feel like most of my politics boil down to, I don't really give a shit, but I passionately do not give a shit. Does that make sense? Because I feel like that's mostly it. However you identify, I don't really care. I don't really care. I care that you are able to, very much, but I don't really care what you identify as. I'm just happy that you identify as what you identify as, and I'm happy that you're happy about it. But I have no vested stake in your identity. How it shakes out is how it shakes out. It's whatever it is. Call, baby boo. And that's how it should be for everybody. I don't care about any aspect of your personality that you are working on personally as long as it comes out the other side like in a way that's positive for you and those around you, right? Like Java Physician, thanks so much for the uh, two months for 33, or tier two for 33 months rather. Uh, that's that's uh, very kind of you, Java Physician. 
Um, it's, I don't know. I don't know how you could give a shit. Like, like Alex and Randy are here right now. Good buddies. Very good buddies. And uh, they did a lot of work today. And um, if one of them is like, hey, I'm, I'm a furry. Right? And I'm... I don't know what else does Lauren hate. Gay. And I'm trans. I'll be like, okay, cool. Pass, pass the weed. You're hoarding it. You're hogging it. Just because you're... A, trans gay furry and you just came out to us doesn't mean you get to have all the weed I love you anyway though that's it what else <laughs> what more do we need <laughs> alright <laughs> that's the end of the video for her she's just fucking stupid dude I mean what is the fuck like really when it when it gets down to it man what are they worried about? I actually don't know what they're preventing. Like, what do they think they're preventing? Let's say everybody in the world catches the tran. Okay? Everybody catches it. Because it's, it's communicable. And when you tran in front of me, when you're looking to uh, fly in your, in, your, in your tight jeans instead of your skirt, or your fly and looking, looking like a hot honey in your skirt instead of your tight jeans... What the fuck? Who cares? For hiding the bong? Oh. Well, I only had to uh, put it on my desk for you not to find it. <laughs> They're scared of the tizza. You're damn right. <laughs> 